Welcome to the Herman Online Training Academy. This is a video for the Rollmatic T. Today Adam and I will be showing you how to wire the control board, set the limits, safety edges and program the handset. Please ensure all work is carried out by competent persons and all connections should be carried out with the power off. If removing the plug, final connection should be made by a qualified electrician. OK, we're going to look at how to wire the Rollmatic T with a wide safety edge. The first thing we are going to do is remove the cover. The mains wiring is factory fitted. Here we see the connections for the motor. You've got earth, brown into one, black into two and blue into three. This is for a left-handed motor. For the right-hand motor, you need to swap the brown and black cables over. Terminals 8 and 9 currently have a link in them which needs to be removed. Remove the link and replace it with brown into 8 and blue into 9. This is for the safety brake. Finally, we have the safety edge with brown going to 19, green into 20 and white into 21. On the safety edge itself, it should go brown, white, green working from the left to the right towards the terminal sockets. We are now ready to turn the power on. We are now going to program the mechanical limits for the Rollmatic T. Programming should only be carried out by competent persons and all adjustments should be made by hand. This is the adjustment tool, sometimes referred to as a wand. On the operator there are two potentiometers. A red one for the open limit and a white one for the close limit. To adjust the amount of travel, insert the tool and rotate to the positive or the negative direction. Each adjustment should be followed by pushing the appropriate directional arrow on the control board until you've reached the desired limit positions. Finally, once the door is set to the correct opening and closing positions, Turn on dip switch 1. This turns the operator into impulse control. We're now going to program the 868 bi-secure transmitter. This should only be done by a competent person. Removing the cover will expose the mains voltage connections. Firstly, remove the cover. Inside the control box you'll see a programming button and an LED light. Press and release the programming button. The LED on the receiver will start to flash slowly. Press and hold the button on your hand transmitter until the LED flashes blue red blue red. At this point the LED on the receiver will start to flash quicker. You have now linked the transmitter to the receiver within the control box. There might be a situation where you need to delete a handset, for example because one has gone missing. To do this, press and hold the program button on the receiver until the LED flashes rapidly. Once you see the rapid flash, all programmed handsets have now been deleted from the receiver. Thanks for watching this presentation.